I'm back with another House of the Dragon video. This week, some new information came out about why Miguel Sapochnik left House of the Dragon for Season 2. Now, if you remember, at the end of last August, shortly after Episode 2 of Season 1 aired, it was announced then that Sapochnik was leaving the show. The talk was that it was an amicable parting, and everything that both Sapochnik and HBO said at the time suggested that it was. Here's Sapochnik from a Hollywood Reporter article from August 31st. Working within the Thrones universe for the past few years has been an honor and privilege, especially spending the last two with the amazing cast and crew of House of the Dragon. I am so proud of what we accomplished with season one and overjoyed by the enthusiastic reaction of our viewers. It was incredibly tough to decide to move on, but I know that it is the right choice for me personally and professionally. And then HBO followed up in the same article with a statement praising Sapochnik for his contributions to the new show. Some might say these statements were generic, but there was no hint here of any trouble between the network and Sapochnik, particularly since there were some rumors even that he would continue on with HBO in future projects. But this week, IndieWire shed a little bit of different light on it all. In their article, they said, Sapochnik's exit was far from amicable. The report says that his leave from the show was instead motivated by disagreements between him and HBO over his wife, Alexis Rabin, and her involvement in House of the Dragon. Rabin appeared in four episodes of the series as Talia, a lady-in-waiting to Allison, and is an accredited producer on season one of the show. According to the Puck Report, Sapochnik asked for Rabin to be again included on the producing team for the show's second season, only for HBO to refuse, pointing to her inexperience. Rabin's only producing credit is on season one of the series. The report further says that HBO had to bring in a mediator to de-escalate the dispute before Sapochnik decided to leave the show over the situation, firing his agents at WME before going to rival agency CAA with his wife. Okay, so let's unpack this. When family is involved in anything like this, you immediately think of nepotism. And it doesn't help Sapochnik that his wife's only production work was on his show. Plus, if you even look at her acting credits, she doesn't even have a steady career there either. Most of it has just been one episode roles, smaller parts. So obviously here she is benefiting that her husband was the co-showrunner of a big series. Now to be fair, no one but Sapochnik, HBO, and the others involved in House of the Dragon know what she did in that production capacity. Just because she didn't have the experience doesn't mean she did not make valuable contributions. But apparently, it was HBO's assessment that she did not. And it appears as if they wanted to keep Sapochnik on initially, because they even went to the, the route of bringing in a mediator to resolve the dispute. And it's likely that Miguel pushed that it was a two-for-one deal. If they didn't keep his wife, Alexis, on as producer, he would go. One little thing that might fly under the radar here is that Sapochnik fired his agents at WME and went to a new agency, CAA, with his wife. So either they didn't press his cause against HBO as effectively as he wanted, or maybe they didn't previously secure a contract with HBO that would force them to keep his wife on in a production capacity for season two, or perhaps it was both. So there was more drama there than was originally believed to have occurred. Ultimately, I think it doesn't make Sapochnik look good no matter what his wife might have contributed to the show. People generally don't take your side when you bring in family members with little experience, and then him walking away from the series as a result might create some problems for him in Hollywood in the future. Back when this was first announced in August, I wasn't concerned for the future of House of the Dragon with Sapochnik going, since Ryan Condal was remaining as the sole showrunner, and Condal's the guy George trusts most with the lore. Sapochnik is more of the big spectacle creator, and where the series fell short at points in season one, I think, was where they favored spectacle over the overall narrative, like Rainey's entrance into the throne room. I was thinking, though, that Sapochnik might return to direct some of the bigger battle episodes, but this new information makes that seem a little unlikely. We'll see. 
Okay, that's it for this one. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button. And if you're interested in more House of the Dragon content, listen to Caraxes and subscribe. I want to thank everyone for watching, and I'll see you soon.